go to our Ubuntu virtual machine our course companion website lab08 batch program modular programming we will redo lab07 with uh, modular programming by abstracting groups of commands into functions here are the tasks task 1 write a bash script to implement the following uh, functionalities actually uh, for each one so we, we can write three uh, bash scripts or you can put them together in one let's uh, write three small bash scripts then with these uh, techniques from these three scripts we can use them to complete these file to do's in this uh, template user fun dot sh and for each to do complete and uh, demonstrate as a uh, lasso lab implement implementation code check the prerequisite satisfied running the code run the code check the code works as expected there are two optional review questions let you see how bash is used in the real world actually these two uh, programs are quite com complex especially this sdman dash cll this one can be used to manage various versions of for example java kotlin gradle and so on this mvm is used to manage several versions installed on your system uh, or, uh, Node, for example, you use a uh, node to de develop uh, various website services, so you can investigate this uh, by yourself. Professor, I do have a question. Uh -huh. so I had noticed on the last lab and on this lab as well, you have under number two, you have prerequisites satisfy running the code can you please give more information on that okay when we go through this one uh, we are add more details of each uh, the subtasks uh, let you have a look about the real world bash script this is uh, a nvm here you can see uh, it's a functionality, node version manager. And you can see uh, here it is, install tests. Uh, this one you can see uh, after you complete this course, we should be able to understand most of these, uh, most of these uh, contents. For few of them, you may need to uh, find online help. For this one, it's the command. And you can see uh, this one is a very powerful tool. can be used to manage many uh, softwares. When you go through its source code, they are all written in bash script. Here. There are lots of them. Stigman, main. You see, this stuff, we are very familiar with this stuff, right? The case, structure, function, and so on. These are parameters, how do we get the parameters? Uh, you may install and play with this tool. Just let you have a look on the real world batch script. Now let's uh, complete these tasks uh, one by one. First, I would like to create a folder to uh, contain all the files we will create today. Lab08.
Okay, for the first subtask 1.1, find the users who have the longest username. There may be uh, several users that have the longest username, right? Where could we f find all the usernames on our system? From last lab, we know those information are inside the etc path wd files. So we can open a terminal here and create a file. Let's call it uh, long user. Long user name dot sh. First, the span. Then we can uh, write some uh, comments. This program is used to find the users with the longest. Username and we know all user names, the information are stored in the password file. So you can use a uh, check etc password file. We can use main to find the menu of this file. Open a new tab. Change the user password. This is a command, so we also have a file of this name, right? And scroll down, how do we find that uh, file? Here is about this uh, command the user account information in this file. Oops, it's just to open all the information. Uh, we may, uh, you can go to Google to uh, find the format of this file. Just password file format. You can find lots of resources. For example, this is Wikipedia. Here, which each fields are explained here. Username, information used to write the user's password. What does it mean? What does X mean? What does star mean? and so on. This is a user identifier, group identifier. So we only want to find the username, right? For that username, we have many ways to find it. For example, we can use a grab to search the username. We can also use a walk Bring out the username. From our last lab, we can uh, 
check how do we get the username from our last lab. Here when you check our last lab, lab 07, check the template provided. Here in order to get all the users list all users. We can scroll down to find the L command. Here list all groups. List all users. Here it uses this uh, shadow file. This is this is not suggested. So we can uh, use that password file. Here you see we use pipeline and use this cut command to cut each line into fields, then sort them and uh, print out the first field. So we can use this command cut dash d dash f1 followed by this file name password. We can print out. You see all the username, right? Now you can sort in alphabetical order. Since we are asked to find the longest username, how do we check the length of each word? So another template is uh, provided in our lab zero eight. In lab 08, there is an array .sh. In this one, we can use the template to process the text file line by line. Here we can use this one, how to read the output from command process search line by line. Yeah, we can use this one to process is a uh, username. So we can uh, copy this one and uh, use it to, to process it. Here we want to know where do we get those output. Right? Here you see an uh, example use uh, LS. And uh, we don't need to show how many users. Now you see with this uh, variable we can also use it to find how many users are on our system. Here we paste here. Now this ls command we use that uh, cut, right? The cut command Just copy this one. Through this while loop, we can process each the lines by line from this, the output of this command. So how do we find the length of a string? Here we can use a print of, to print each username. Right? Each username is a line. Now, how do we find its length? The length of our string, we can use this uh, syntax here. Let's say uh, Try it here. For example, we have a username, let's say just have a string equals foop c. Right? Now, how do we find its length? That is one way. Use this syntax.
Oops, I forgot the syntax. Here, this string, you check the how many uh, characters do we have. Right? Here you see it's eight characters, so you will get the eight character. Now, we can use this uh, syntax to show the length of each uh, username. The username is this one. Right, we use syntax like this. Save it. Then we can run this uh, script. Make it executable first. Did you see uh, all this stuff? We have the length. No? How do you find the maximum length? Right, you see the length of each uh, username. And you see the maximum is uh, 17. We have only one. In some cases, you may have several. Which means we, we need to find the maximum number. Again, I think I provided a template for you. So you can use them from this place. Here is one of the example we, we can use. Here is used to find. Uh, we will come back here later. Now we, we just uh, have a look for this pattern. You see here is uh, try to find the max G. Then we can uh, define a variable. Say max or longest username, the max username. Give it an initial value of zero. We use a double parenthesis as a arithmetic expression, right? Now, for for each line we got, we can use this uh, syntax, and we also want to save the username. How do we save the username? We can print it out or save it in an uh, array. Here I would like to uh, save it in an uh, array. Now how do we uh, save in an array? We can have a try here. You will define a array, for example, start from zero, right? Equals SSHD array one equals push. Then if we echo array, what have we got? In this case, if we want to output all the elements from this array, we use this one, right? You know the difference between this add and a star. And you see we output two uh, elements. So we can use this array to save the username. If so, we need a add reader. Then we can save the username, the longest username, if.
uh, max username is less than the length of the current user. Then we can update this value. Max UN equals this one. Right? The length of the current username. And also we want to save the username. So we can use uh, your name your name it looks like a, a command so we use a username because we save the username the username is this current line Here, but we have a problem. Here, we just want to get the first, the longest uh, username first. But this statement, it will save all username, right? Here, uh, for many of these username, so we need to uh, do it later. So this one will have uh, mistakes. After that, we can show the the longest username. Here is just show it uh, show its length, but we don't know the name because we didn't record the name. But we we can use a single. Uh, Available to hold that username, but that's uh, we we will have only one. In the case if we have several users with the longest uh, length, then we we cannot get it. So we will do it in a second uh, in a second round. The first round we just get the longest uh, the length of the longest username. So we can show it here. Max UN username length now we can run it you see the longest username length is uh, 17 right? we, we got this uh, part now you check the requirement of this uh, Lab the subtask one. Find the users who have the longest user name. So we need to run a second round. Now a second round, we just copy all these things. And this time we can save it in array. So you can uh, add some comments. In the first round, find the length of the longest username. Round two, find all those users. with the longest username we already know the length max your n right, this time we will compare whether the equal 
equal. Right? If they equal, then we will save that username. The username, we save it. And we can also print out it. We only print out the users with the longest username. Now after that, we can print out all these uh, users. Okay, now we have this uh, one two. So now let's uh, test this script. Ah, we see this one. This is a user speech dispatcher. This line is printed uh, printed out in the loop, and this line is printed out by line thirty two. So you need to uh, we need to add more explanation. For debug, you can print out these things. Complete this debug, you can comment out those uh, debugging stuff. For example, this line is used for debug debugging, right? Also, this line you are used for debugging. Because you are asked only to find all those users with the longest username. So you only need to output this line. And this line, the longest username length is this one. And these users are all so now you can output it uh, clearly. The users who have the longest username, if you want to show it in the next line. Now we can run it. The longest username length is this one. The users who have the longest username is this speech dispatcher. Okay, this is the first subtask. The second one finds the groups who have the largest number of users. It's similar to this first one. Actually, that is the template I think is uh, provided here. Here is used to, uh, no, it's, uh, it's different. This one is used to find the user who joined the most, the largest number of groups. So here we are asked to find the the groups who have the log largest number of users. What is that information? The information of each group and their users. We have done this in our last lab. Right? We use uh, get int groups get end group and you see uh, the num the name of each group and the users inside each group right here Republican group Republican have three users inside here now you see uh, each line it contains how many fields for this one we have one two three Four, so right 
it should have force but some lines it has an empty last field it's uh, empty so we we need to uh, get the group name and the number of users again we can process it line by line now how do we uh, construct this script we don't need the middle two right? here the middle two fields only need the first and last field in this case if we use cut we use cut as this one we have a delimiter dash d and choose which field we need dash f dash d delimiter is a column and dash f dash f1 and dash f4 if we run this one oops <coughs> oh, sorry uh, dash f1 we get the group name now dash f4 we have some empty uh, fields so how do we process it F1 how do I output several fields let's see help I want to see a uh, several fields dash f equals list how do I specify this list darkness now delimit the collector dash fields equals uh, list one and uh, two or oh, four like this right, we have this uh, group name and the users inside that group so with this output then we can process the group who have the largest number of users right, we can use the code from here First, we need to find the the largest uh, group. The length of the largest group. We we again we use two rounds. Right? We can use two rounds. So we can copy this one. So we type. Uh, code here we want to uh, find the we quite the largest group largest group dot sh Now this one is used to find the groups who have the largest number of users. And uh, you need to check the group file. etc group. Here you, you can find that file. You can check the format of this group on Google. Now, round one found the uh, the number of members who are the largest group.
Yeah, this Max uh, Yuan. Now we can create a Max. Give it a readable name. What's a ne good name for, for that? Max G. Replace them all. Now we have Max G. You uh, we read those stuff from the output of this uh, command, right? From this command, copy it, paste here. Now for each line, we have two fields. So how do we uh, actually here in order to find the length, we can only use the field 4. Field 1 it does not matter. We only use field 4. And it will show us as common separated uh, fields. So we need to separate it again. So in this case, how do we uh, count it here? Max g equals zero. How do we find the the number of users? For example, this one. They are separated by a common, right? We can use that. Uh, what count you practiced in our last lab? You can count this you, with what count. Try it here. What count? We want to count the number of what? Number of words. It says just one word because uh, let's use this. Uh, Top code. It still says one boss. So if so, what could we do? We can cut it again, right? Cut it again. Cut dash d. This time is a common. To see what we get. The fields. So this cut is a uh, not good idea. In that word count, could we specify the delimiter of word count? Word count by lines. Here words print print word word counts. So and those words they are separate by uh, common, but here. Do you see a uh, could we specify a delimiter or a subreader? Yeah, I didn't see. So now, how do we uh, separate this? The three words. Well, the the count could we specify all fields with this uh, cut? Cut. I want to specify all fields. Now you see we still need a specify uh, a list. We don't know the maximum uh, length, so this is not a good idea. 
Now, what could we do? We can use a uh, worker, right? Worker, again, with worker, we still need to uh, find the number of fields. And the number of fields is the length of the group. So from this part, dash F4, we will get dash F4, what do we get? Get the users in those groups. And let's see what idea we can use to uh, solve this uh, problem. Here, this uh, read, this command can be used to uh, read. Read contents from strings or from, uh, for example, if we use ifs equals Common and the read dash r line. We want to read those uh, contents. You will read like this to see what we get. I want to put it into an array. This is what I want. Paste here. Echo. Then pipeline to this uh, read command. Here we echo that line. It's empty, so it looks like uh, they're not the right syntax. Uh, this is not the bad syntax, I forgot the syntax. In this case, we need to uh, ask Google how to read string into arrays. Read a CVS strings into array with bash. Three string into array in bash. Here, for example, we have this one. How do we split? We use this one, this syntax, dash A array. OK, now let's try it. IFS equals semicolon as the delimiter, then read dash r dash a and saved in a variable named as array. And here we use a here string. Let's see if we use pipeline, what do we get? Here we use pipeline, then we echo that array. Okay, here you see uh, this array uh, what I got. So, why I got something like this? It's quite weird. It's very likely maybe I messed up with some previous stuff.
So in this case, what could we, we do? Let's see. Concert. All right. Build again. Echo it again. It's uh, empty. So which means this uh, one uh, does not work. And that array is from some content in, uh, in, in those uh, history commands. So we can uh, use a string to save this one. To save this one. Then we use this syntax fs equals read dash r dash a array, and we use uh, this here string. Act this array. Here you see uh, get the first one by default. In order to show all of them, please pay attention if we with the name only it shows the first one. If you want to show all of them, we need this syntax. Now in order to get its length, we use this syntax. Three. Now we 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 found the way how to uh, find the number of users. So we use this syntax. Right. I'll copy it. Come back here. This is a field four. And each line is that field four. Now we want to find the length. Control we paste here. First, we will read into a array for each line. Then, we find its length. Its length is this array, the length of this array. I'll write like this. And again here, I need to uh, modify it. And also in the debugging, we can print out the line and this length. Then we can say the largest group number of members oh the largest groups please uh, make these groups because we may have several groups now this is a uh, round one we can arrange it to see uh, what we get uh, for, for round one actually we can complete round two as well then we f find all those groups with the largest number of users. In this time, we need to read two fields, right? Here, we need to read two fields. The first field is a group name. The last field, the field, the first field, field, the members. The groups who ha have the largest number of users.
And here, this username we we change it as group name. And replace them all. Here we check this part again. We need this uh, syntax. Now, please bear in. We still need to do more. Now we need to do more about this part because that one cannot only field four. Now we have field one and field four. And field one is the group name, and field four is the all the member names. So we need to cut that one again. So how do we cut it? This time we can uh, cut it like this. We cut before we cut it. Let's say we create uh, two variables. The first variable is a group name. The second variable is the number of groups. So how do we construct this line? Here. We can uh, use echo right to show it out, then cut it. Can echo line then we cut it dash d into a we have only two fields field one and field two and field one field one is the group name and field two are the member names so we can get the output from this part and save it into a variable Here yeah, we saved like this. We say group name. We saved here. We also enable the debugging. This is a group name, and here we still need to uh, find the length. Group length. So the group length, we can create a new variable called group length. The group length, we use this cut. Here, first we uh, Cut it to get the second field. And the return of this uh, pipeline are the member members, right? the name of the members. So, and they are separated by uh, Separate by this common, so we can use this command to read it. To read from the output of this one. Can we do it like this? So we will get rid of this line. Now we have this array, we can find its length. Right? We use this, this syntax to find its length. So if 
the length equals max g, then we save this group name. And also we print out the result. Here is not the length, the line. Here is a group name. And its length or its a number of members. This is the number of members. Okay, this is uh, round two. Now let's have a look whether we can get the correct result. Round it. The largest group. So we change it uh, to be executable first. Then we round it. Here you see. Uh, the number of members of the largest group is three. It's a Republican. Three number of members. The group who have the largest uh, number of users is a Republican. And uh, you see uh, the debugging output. Now we want to clean the debugging output. Right? How do we clean the debugging output? Here you see there are two of them. Here one. This is, this is an interesting output. Why do we get a uh, something like this? So these are the members, right? These are the members. Here, right? These are the members. Three members. Okay, now we can uh, tidy our debugging information and make this more readable. So we we need to uh, comment out this line and uh, comment out this line. Save it and I'm going to again. Okay, now you see the output are uh, quite clear. We still have one thing. Could we show the users in this group? Here we only saved the group name. We didn't save the users, right? We save the group name here. Now, if we want to save the users inside that group, so we can use uh, users here or members. We save the second field. Field two. So it now we can add more information. It uh, has users. Wait a minute. Here. This one, it show all those groups, right? If we have several groups with the same number of users, then we need to show them uh, one by one. So we need a for loop to do this. Now, how could we construct a for loop? In the bash for loop, we use a for loop to show all the information. So let's see the for loop. I forgot. Bash for loop. Then 
see uh, lots of these informations. We use this syntax. Right? Start and and so on. This is a for loop we want to use. So we can uh, for we use uh, arithmetic expressions. So we use i this i equals start from zero and i less than equal the number of uh, groups. So we can use this one. number of groups and we increase this i i plus plus two and done make it clear even though this uh, does not matter The groups for have the large um, number of users, so we start from group I, and it has users, the user name dot I. Right, we write it like this. Then we can uh, run it. It has users. The group has the largest uh, number of users. Now we have a problem. The users are not saved. Right? User is empty. And we output twice. Why we output twice? The first one is get the the number of members. Here, that's uh, the line. We have we looped twice here. The reason is not equal; it's just uh, less than. Then the loop only once, but we have problem. Is the members? Oh, here is members, not users. Then we can run it again. Here we, we got the exact information we need. So this is a second uh, task. Now for the last task in task one, find the users who are in the largest number of groups. For example, a user may be in three groups or four groups and five groups, and those kind of user may have uh, several. Now, how do we find them? First, we need to find all users. Then we check uh, the groups of each user. Right? How do we find our users? You learn to practice this one in our last lab. We use a grab command, right? That grab command we can use to find the the user. List all users. We use this uh, command again. Please use a password file. So we can use this one to find all users. We cat etc password. The first field is a user. Actually, we can have a look what this uh, looks like. Right, this is a user Trump. Here is a user i. 
So we can find the users, all the users from this place. We use cut dash d by column field one on all the users. Then we loop through all the users with another command called id dash ug. We use the last uh, in our last lab, right? ug or ng. For example, i. Then you find all the users I'm in. Right? You, you want to find uh, Trump? He's inside these two groups. Okay, we have all the components. Now we, we need to combine these two components to solve the problem. Again, we can use this template. We need two rounds. First round, found the most sociable user. So let's uh, use code. This time we create a, what was a good name? The most sociable user. So let's create a pop user, hot user, pop user. The most popular user. And we can uh, copy this stuff as template. Put into our most popular user. So this program is used to find users for in the largest number of groups. You are asked to check this field. Oh, just this file. And the command ID. So again, we use two rounds. The first round, we want to find. In the first round, let's see. The time we want to find, uh, it's okay to use max g, right? Here, we need to replace this part with this command we just tried. With this command, we loop through all the users. Here we loop through all the users. For each user, for each user, we want to uh, now. This time you can check these words. They are separated by empty space. It looks like this time we can use a word count. Here, for example, id dash ng. Then you use word count to count the number of words, 10. Right? Here you see 10 groups. So we can use this one to find the numbers. So the largest number would be. Here we create a variable quite num group ng equals equals this one right copy it paste here now we need to specify the user the user is uh, this line variable right we want we want to get its value, that's why we need a dollar. Here, this line is a user, each line is a user. Here we get the it's a number of groups this user is in. 
So the max g is 0, then here we less than this uh, ng, then we save it. Right, save it, save this ng. And we also can show the user and the groups he or she is in. Oh, this this one uh, we just uh, leave it there. We want to sh show something here. The line is the user and the number of groups is ng. Okay, this is the first run. The second run, we already know. The largest, uh, the, the number of groups. Oh, the most sociable user. is that uh, max g is a single number now in the second round in the second round we want to uh, save those uh, users here the users meanwhile we can also save his or her groups so how do we uh, process this one again we need because loop through all users here we loop through all users control v page here now the first one is a uh, username so for example there maybe we use username put it there but uh, you can try to see what it is saved. Here's the username. I now here the username is that the line, right? The username is this line, and we don't need this one. We need this part now. Find the number of groups or that a user in, then we check whether it equals the max g. If so, we record it. Record the username and record uh, the groups. We can also uh, enable this debug. So the username, can you see? And we paste here. So these are the groups. The command we need is this one. Right? This means the groups of the user line is in. So we save all the groups here. And here we print out. Now this time we wanted to know the maximum number, so it's a meaningless to print out the number. So we uh, we can print out, print out uh, our groups. What groups this user is in? So this is uh, round two now. Again, we can loop through to print out all those uh, searchable users, the most searchable users. So we go through this uh, username, loop through this username, and say the, the most uh, searchable users
we go through them one by one. And uh, he or she joined these groups. As it was it joins or is in these groups. Okay, this is a program. Let's uh, run it to have a look. First, make the executable. And run it. Okay, now uh, let's have a look about this result. The invalid numbers, so uh, it, it looks like we have some problem our other place. It's line 18, it says line 18, that is problem, because here you see a dollar dollar ng. And else save it. And uh, the output here it says the most searchable users that is only one and I is in these groups. No, it's right, right. Now we run again to see that error should be uh, cleared. Scroll to the top. Here we run from here. The root user in just one group, being in one group. Here this is log in three groups. Is in two groups, two groups, and uh, here next one in three groups, and this one I in ten groups here, ten groups. Now this is uh, a zero. The first uh, most searchable user is I, and are in these groups. Now you see uh, this. Output does not really, uh, looks good, right? Because there should be this this stuff. So which one print out this one? It's inside. Here I think it's inside here when we print out all the groups and show as here the username and the groups. It show as uh, this one and use use colon to separate. So it's okay. It's just for debugging. So now we can uh, comment those uh, debuggings and show only the final result. Then we show the final result. Run it. This is the final result. So it looks good. So we solved the uh, task one. It looks like uh, this task uh, a little bit longer than usual. Now, this uh, task two completes the five tools in this template. For each tool, complete these things. So I think I already opened it here. Uh, open it again. Use phone. Here, this uh, one you can see there are lots of references. You can have a look for further information. Now, I want to uh, create a new one called user fun dot sh and control V pair all these things here. Control S, control F, find all those to do. Here, to do one. Find the number of groups on computer. And first, let's have a look uh, how to use this function number groups. Where to use to determine the parameters we need to supply. Right? We determine the interface first. So in this interface, you see it just your number of groups. There's no parameters. So which means we can just uh, display the number of groups inside that function. So number groups, implement this function, 
Now, how do we find the number groups? This one is uh, quite easy, right? You, you know how to find all groups, then you just count the number. Actually, I think in that group file, for example, we can show that uh, group file. Group. Here, this uh, group file just shows the first, first 10 lines. And you see each line is a group name. So we only need to count the number lines in the, oh, this file. Then we get the number of groups. This is uh, quite easy, which means we just use a WC to count the number of lines of this file. ETC group. You see we have eight file group. You can double check. Yeah, this is the same way you cut it and sort it. That's the sudo is not needed. You paste it here and use a WC to count the number of lines. 87. Now we have a different result. So, what's the problem? If we use this get end loop, we have eight. Uh, 87 groups, but this group file we have only 80 files. So, what's the problem? That is one way, as you have uh, practiced in our last lab, you can use Unique to see whether there are some groups, uh, group name, the dupli duplicates. Here you see there are two du two duplicates they removed, and uh, use this one. It looks like it's better, right? Here, it fell, it fell, and uh, from this result we have some uh, duplicates. So we need th this is good. So we copy this one. Now. We can say create a variable. Now, for each function, you are suggested to use local ng equals then you output something. So you need to output something like this. That's a requirement. What the output and it looks like. Oops, that's no requirement. I, I get rid of that uh, requirement. Or previous demos. So here you, you just uh, echo, say something. The number of groups on this computer. Now you, you, you say on the computer and make it uh, looks good. Is this ng? No, there is no prerequisite for this one. So as you see, this one you don't need to check it. The prerequisite just say no prerequisite for that one. This is the implementation code and products are now. Run the code and the checks code works as expected. So we can run this one. Make it executable first. Here I would like to uh, find the help, how to use it. Then find the number of users on a computer is you oops it's a number of uh, groups right? I just implement the number of groups a number of groups here number of groups is this one is a big N the number of groups on the computer is 85 but uh, what's this one I don't need this one ETC group 
So I don't need that uh, because what I need is only a number. How could we only uh, show numbers? With WC, we only want to show numbers. In last lab, you, you wanted to know how to only show numbers. You use echo, right? Can you X? You use echo. Now, here it's a file. You use a cat and a pipeline to this uh, word count. In this case, you will see uh, only the number 85. So we are done this this one. Now the next to do find the largest group. And uh, again, we can check whether there are any uh, what the interface. Again, there is no parameters, which means you just should do anything to do all the things inside this function and show what you want in this uh, group. We, we already know how to find the largest group, right? Here, how do we find the largest group? You can use uh, the code from this part. Find the number of members of the largest group. And you see the number of members of the largest group is this one, so you just copy this one. I want to uh, mention is there may be a name collision. So in this function, you can make sure the verb name you used do not conflict with the uh, other functions. In this case, what could we do? Here we have. Uh, Max G here could we specify local inside this uh, this double parentheses? You can try it on the command line. Right? If we try local x x three syntax error, we cannot write like this uh, a local something like this. So, what could we do? We can use local max g equals zero, like this. And a local i equals zero. We only use this max g and i, right? There's no other uh, variables. Other variables, for example, line is scope is in this uh, this while loop. So this is a large uh, group. I just save it. Then we can uh, run it. Use this uh, x upcase x. Okay, why it uh, does not show up? Let's quit and run it again. Maybe it need to reload. So quit, yes, uh, we need type of one. Right? Command X. Now you see uh, the number of members of the largest group is three. So this uh, looks good. Now, for the next to do, find the number of groups a user is in. Again, we need to find how to use this function. Here you see one parameter is uh, provided. So, the username. So, we need to uh, handle when the first parameter passed into this uh, function.
So we have one parameter that uh, username. Now in this case, the prerequisite we have a parameter. Then the prerequisite will make sense. Uh, it will make sense. For example, something like this. We need a if statements. Actually, you can see a uh, check the examples, something like this. First, how to use it? If that parameter is not provided, then we can show something like this. So we can copy this one as a template to use it. First, we check the parameter. If it's empty, we will say uh, num user groups, can you see, can you be followed by the username? You need to use it like this. This function followed by uh, pr one parameter. Parameter is a username. Now again, we also need to check the uh, username provided. Here you see we used to create a local variable to hold the first parameter passed into this function. Then in this part, we use this command. Now what does this mean? This one used to check whether the user exists or not. The prerequisite, check the prerequisite. Here, this part, check the prerequisite. Then we can use it to find the number of groups a user is in. We know we don't need to do, right? We just use that id command. id dash ng username like this. So when you have to check the prerequisite, for example, you enter an empty username or enter a non-exist username, they should be cached and processed like this. Then you enter an existent user to get the correct result. So let's uh, run it. And this command is a little n. I think I save it. Can I save it? So again, we need to uh, rerun this program. Type uh, quit to quit it. One yes. Run it. Uh, that command is uh, what command? N. Log has n. Log has n. And the username not exist. First, I don't end the username. Then it will tell you how to use it. Tap in again. Not exist. Then you will tell you. It will tell you this one not exist. So these are the prerequisites. Then we tap in again. Tap a username i. And you see a. Uh, with I, but this is not a uh, readable. You can add more stuff here. Add an echo. Echo say user, your name is in these groups. In these groups, so not uh, should uh, print a nice output. Next to do, to do for max uh, social user. Find the user who has maximum membership. There are many users, right? Maybe you can change the users, not necessarily uh, only one. Control A, Control V. So there is no parameter passed to this uh, function. So we can do all the stuff inside that function. Here, oops. In this tutorial, we want to know how to find the user who has maximum memberships or the most searchable users, the proper user. Right? 
the pop user. Here it ask only ask uh, us to show the user, show those users, the, the users. So we only need this. Uh, I think we still need run one and run two. So we need these two runs. And just see the two runs we paste here. And we paste here. And you will go up. Oops. Okay, how do we uh, modify this uh, one? Again, first, change those uh, variable scope to local. Max G equals zero. Local I equals zero. Do we have any other variables need to change? Here, this is uh, for the max and the G's used here. And again, we have uh, username and uh, groups. So now, the username and the groups, do we need to uh, change it to declare it? How do we declare array variable? Declare array variable. So we ask Google, bash declare array variable. How to declare it? Declare dash a array name. Now, how do we add a local? How do we add a lo local to, to that one? Local declare dash a ARR cannot be used, can only be used in a uh, function. Okay, now let's use in the function. Here we declare it. This is round two. Declare dash a, we have two arrays. And I want to add a local, but I don't know where to put this local. Just have a try first. Then put these groups. Save it. Okay, I think uh, now it uh, looks good. So we can. Uh, but it only asks us for those users. So the users has the maximum membership. So it's okay you put this output here. Now let's run it. And the command is command is uh, x. We quit this one. Run it again. Put an X. Okay, now we have problem. Dash A not a valid identifier, and we will we'll get all these uh, results. The results looks good, so the dash A is uh, not necessary. So we just get rid of that dash A. And uh, certainly we can get rid of that declare. Save it. Kill, quit. One, yes. Double check. X. Ah, looks good. Now you need to, you may need to, uh, it's okay, you can uh, rearrange this output to make it more meaningful. I think we still have, we have the last to do. 
the number of users on a computer. So this is an easy one. Right? The number of users, we have several ways to find it. The number of users is the first one. Cat the password for the number line. We use WC to count the number lines. From our double check with our last lab. Our last lab. Our last lab. To find all the list of users. We use this. Now we don't use cat. Uh, we don't use sudo. We use the for that one. We can double check that one. Cat etc. Password actually the same because we we didn't use something uh, get int something like that. We use the same method. Right? So that we don't you don't need double check. They should be the same because we use the same method. So here, 53. Now we can uh, number all users on computer. We use a local angle means number of users equals yeah, this command. Then you output something, say something. Echo the number of all users on the computer. Is this an angel? Okay, now we can write the command is you. Look, I think I completed all two doors. Let's uh, I'll try. Quit. One. Nine. Your number of all users on the computer is fairly straight. Uh, okay, looks good. Uh, now let's uh, check out. Uh, I think we complete all two doors. This to do file. To do one done. To do two done. To do three done. To do four done. To do five done. So we complete uh, lab 8. It looks like this lab is uh, quite long.